Hi YouTube, my name's Drew and you're watching Drawing with Drew. Today's video is going to be all about the pros and cons of using your iPad Air 3 for art. I'm going to try to keep this video simple and straightforward so that I don't lose anybody, so if you stick around to the end, it would be much appreciated. So let's get started on the very first pro. Pro number one is the price, obviously. It's much cheaper than the newest iPad Pros and uh, to be honest, it does pretty much all the same things. Con, you have to suffer with maybe a slightly older design where there are bezels, but Pro, they're nice to have because you can put your thumbs on them and you don't get fingerprints on the actual screen. Pro, there's a camera built in that is more than suffice if you're using it for art and you wanna take pictures of your artwork that you're gonna turn into digital, but Con, it's not quite as good as the new ones. It's actually not really all that comparable at all, but it's definitely useful enough for the common average artist, someone that's not using it for, you know, professional photography. Pro, there's a headphone jack. Con, it is the old style pencil, which means you've got to stick it in the bottom for it to charge. Pro, this thing charges so fast that it'll hardly ever be in there. It'll, it'll take you 15 minutes to charge the battery and it'll last for like three days depending on how much you use it. Pro, this iPad Air is thinner than the rest, which means that there's less distance when you're drawing from your palm to the tablet. Con, it's not quite as large of uh, screen real estate as the newer iPads. In my opinion, the 10.5 inch screen is more than suffice and doesn't feel like you're limiting yourself by using it. Con, this model, the cheap model, only comes with 64 gigabytes of storage if you know you go for the base model. Pro, there are tons of cheap options that you can use to extend your storage. Here's one that I purchased on Amazon. Not sponsored, it's a little uh, thing like this. Plug it in the bottom and all of a sudden you can expand your storage. It's got an SD slot. Pro, the iPad Air 3 has a laminated display which means it's glued to the screen and therefore you're not getting parallaxed when you're drawing. Con, it is still glass so it's smoother than say a Wacom Cintiq. But let's go back to a Pro, you can pick up a screen protector. This one I got, again, not sponsored off of Amazon. It's called iCares. I spent like, I think $11 on it. And it's just a screen protector that adds a little tiny bit of resistance to make it more like a paper-like screen. Uh, and it is a, just a joy to work on. Another con to begin with, this is uh, only a 60 hertz refresh rate, which means that when you're scrolling up and down through things every once in a while, you'll notice a little bit of like a lag or a jitter every once in a while. The new iPads have a refresh rate of 120 hertz, which means it's buttery smooth. So that's, I guess, a con because this one only has 60 hertz and you might notice a little jitter every once in a while. But pro on this guy is that it just, you don't notice it at all when you're drawing. It's just it's still a buttery experience. And again, Pro, again, it's cheaper, and you can also get the uh, the older iPad Pencil, which works with it, which is also cheaper. And the last Pro with this guy is even though it's an older model, it still comes with the newest chipset, so you know that it's gonna last you a long, long time through updates and whatnot. So this device should last you, let's say, a few years at least. So if you found this video useful or helpful in any way, please give me a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. If you wanna check out some of my other videos about the iPad Air 3 or just how I draw in general, you can subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, you guys.